Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. I'm so excited because today TikTok made me buy all of this product. So everything that I'm gonna put on my face today is because of TikTok. They went viral. Most of these products went viral on TikTok or very talked about on TikTok. So I'm gonna be doing a full face. I have all the products right here. So I'm excited. So now let's get right into the video. So if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And now let's get started. Let's get into the brows. For brows, I have two products and they're by NYX. And I have the NYX, the brow glue, which is very, very nice for your brows. I've tried this one before. And we have the NYX brow tint pen in the, in the shade Espresso which I'm actually loving this one more than the Glossier one. So let's go ahead and start with the brows. So let's glue this brows. I'm actually loving this brow gel. So look at the difference. This one, very nice and fluffy and they're staying in that place. And now let's do this one as well. Wow, they're so fluffy, look at that. <laughs> Looks really funny. Okay, let it dry a bit. And now I wanna go into the NYX pen in the shade Espresso. And let's fill in any gaps. What do you guys think? I'm loving this products. Okay, let's go in with a primer. So for a primer, I bought this e.l.f. Blemish Fighting Putty Primer. It's the green one, so I bought it because I love the avocado green color. So this is the first time I'm trying it. A nice feeling, and it also says that it fills in the pores, so it's not just for acne pro skin. Now, another product that has been talked about, I think on YouTube as well, is the Catrice True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I was able to just pick this one up um, at Shoppers Drug Mart. Not a lot of my Shoppers Drug Mart had them and I was lucky to find it at this location. This is in the shade 002 Neutral Ivory. So I'm opening it up for the first time. I am so excited to try this. Now, I love the pump. It's very strong. Ooh, it's a very light foundation. So, ooh, this is super light. But it's okay. We're going to bronze up if not. So... I'm gonna use my Moda foundation brush and it's this one right here. Now I'm gonna go into my Morphe. This is the Sour Patch um, sponges. I wet my sponge and I'm pushing this in. I see a very good coverage with it. Um, I can't tell yet. I see it quite heavy sitting and settling into the lines on the forehead. Let me look up close. So it's not a very hydrating foundation from what I see, but um, yeah, I can see it piling up on the nose right here. I'm gonna bring you in close so you guys can see. I know a lot of people talked about this foundation, but I don't know if it's my favorite. You guys can see behind the nose, it's already settled on top of the nose. It's doing this funny thing right here. In the, the forehead looks quite dry. Okay, let's go into concealer. So I have the e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. So maybe this will save the day and kind of conceal here. This is much darker. And I'm gonna use this kind of all over my lids as well as priming the eyelids. Let's get into the bronzer. So the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is in the shade light. So this is lighter than the other one. So let's get into it and bronze and bring this face more color to it. Oh, I love the smell. I missed using this bronzer. I've been buying so many bronzers lately. Yeah, so I would love to know if you guys, if TikTok has influenced you to buy anything, I would love to know what you guys bought based on all those viral makeup TikTok videos. I went in with products that I knew that I would like. 
so you can see this bronzer has brought the face to life right now let's go in with highlighter since we played with Catrice this is Catrice more than a glow highlighter I love this highlighter look at that beautiful flower inside not this looks like a spider I don't know it looks like a creepy crawly spider but it's a beautiful flower so I don't know it's very interesting but yeah, let's go in with this. This is in the shade Supreme Rose Beam 020. And for that, I'm going to use the Moda Pro Glow brush. Oh, you can see. Look at this. This is a beautiful product. I actually love this type of highlighter shade. It's not chunky. And it's very um, soft on the cheek and it doesn't give you that fake line you can see that it melts into the cheek into the skin Ooh, I'm loving it you can always go in with the sponge and kind of melt it into the skin a little bit more let's go in with a blush this is another blush that went viral this is the elf putty blush I actually have two shades I have this pink one and I have this peach one and I'm gonna go with the peach one because I don't remember the name of it is it Bahamas I remember something with Bahamas I think so I don't know but yeah this is a beautiful beautiful blush now for this I'm gonna use this cool beauty brush and I'm just gonna dip into the product right here and then apply it this brush it's so good to apply um cream products with like i'm just loving this brush i bought one for foundation and i bought one for blushes and cream bronzers see so even if your foundation is lighter you can bring your face back to life by adding bronzer and blush i think it's just beautiful i'll show you i'll swatch them for you so this is the this is the actual peach one so you can see and then I'm gonna swatch this pink one as well so you can see the difference this is more of a baby like Barbie type of pink but when applied to the skin it's just, it just gives you that nice beautiful glowy look both of them see just beautiful beautiful shade so don't be intimidated by the pink one because it looks really nice on the cheeks as well and now we're gonna go into the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder it's right here and this is in the shade 05 fair so let's apply this to the face and the eyes so let's start with the eyes now I'm gonna go into this big fluffy Mora brush and apply it all over the face I normally don't use powders especially especially that my skin already looks pretty dry but I will use it for the sake of the video so now that the powder is applied I'm gonna spray my face to give it a little bit more hydration because it needs it my skin feels pretty dry it looks very nice it actually looks pretty good let me see up close i don't see any settling under my eyes yet um the problem area is only the nose it seems a little bit dry and also the forehead i can see on the forehead the um, settling in those lines now let's spray the face so I'm gonna use this stay all night micro fine setting spray by elf this is a 16 hour wear supposed to shake it it has a bowl inside oh yes 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 I can feel oh my skin is back to life so for my eyes I went I'm not sure if this one's actually went vital but I know that a lot of people are talking about them and these are this essence eyeshadow palettes this is in the shade bronzed this way and I haven't used this yet I've used the other ones so I saved this one so I can use it for this video and play with this shade first I'm gonna go into this white shade and kind of set the eye I'm gonna use a Moda doomed brush right here 
and use the mirror and kind of place this all over the eyes because this is similar to my lid color and we're just gonna set the eyes ready for the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go into a fluffy brush. This is by Morphe and I'm gonna go into, I don't know, let me swatch, see which one's darker. So these are the two shades. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this more red toned one. We put this in the crease. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other eye. You now let's go into this brown with the same brush and kind of place it in the outer corner here and bring it upwards. Ooh, there's a lot of fallout. Look at this. So be careful, be careful. There's a lot of fallout with this palette. I noticed that this palette has a little bit more fallout as you guys can see in the pan there. So be careful. Maybe I suggest do your eyes before you do your face with this palette. Make a clean, big, fluffy brush and go into this white shade right here and place it on the edge here to kind of soften up the top line here. There's multiple shimmers here. So let me swatch them for you guys so that we can make a decision together. Okay, so they're all beautiful, very hard to decide. I think I'm gonna go with this rosy one right now. And I'm gonna use, let me clean my brush. So I'm gonna take this flat brush and kind of clean it. And by the way, I'm using the, I was asked in another video what I'm using to clean my dry brushes. I'm using the Lavish Quick Color Switch Sponge, dry sponge for brushes. So I'm gonna use my finger and see if that works a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little bit more pigmented with the, with the finger for sure. By the way, I'm using this shade right here if I didn't mention it. <laughs> Let's bring it all the way in. So what do you guys think? I think it looks pretty. Now I'm gonna use that gold and just use it in the inner corner only. So I'm gonna use a brush now and blend it in here. Now let's work on the bottom line, on the bottom lash line right here. So for that, I'm gonna go into that rose, that reddish brown right here. I'm gonna use this Moda brush right here, which is a fluffy top brush. And now I'm gonna go into that darker brown, which is pretty beat up by now, as you can see, and use a smaller brush. So these are the eyes. Um, I have some thoughts on some of this viral TikTok products. Uh, the eyes are pretty much done. We're gonna apply some mascara, but before we do, I'm gonna go into this white shade right here, take it and bring it in to lighten up this inner corner because I feel like it's a bit too dark. Let's get into mascara. So here's another product that went viral and this is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I've talked about it in my previous haul. So this has very flexible wand. So let's see how this applies because my favorite is the Essence. Okay, so this deserves TikTok viral video for sure, because look at the difference. I'm gonna complete this eye and then I'll show you this eye compared to this eye. Okay, so here is the eye with the mascara and here is the eye without. So you can see, I'm gonna go sideways so you guys can see better. So you can see how beautiful this mascara is. So this is probably on the same line as the Essence Mascara for me. So I'm gonna finish this eye with this mascara and we're gonna get into lips. So for the lips, I have this beautiful Essence Glimmer Glow Lipstick. Look at that see the glimmers do you see the little sparkles in there so pretty so this when you apply it to the lips it actually adjusts its color to your lips
and I love that some of the sparkles actually come onto your lips it is such a beautiful lipstick it's a color changing lipstick basically and it's the essence glimmer glow and I just love it so much I don't know if this lip color goes with this eye look but this was the lipstick that I wanted to use that went viral on TikTok and on top I'm gonna use the Maybelline lifter gloss and this is the see-through one so it's I have a couple of them but this is this one right here which is basically a see-through gel you can see and I'm gonna apply this to the lips Wow, my lips look like a disco ball right now. What do you guys think? Let me zoom you guys in so you can see better my how my lips look. And let's talk about my thoughts. Okay, so here are my thoughts. So let's start with the brow products. The brow products, which is the NYX Brow Glue and the NYX Brow Tint Pen. This I re definitely recommend. They're very good. The brows are in place. I have moved the hairs down myself and this has filled the brows beautifully. Like I, I have absolutely no complaints. I love these two products so, so much. So definitely recommend this. Definitely recommend this uh, Morphe Sour Patch sponge. They're amazing. Now let's go to Primer. So for primer, the e.l.f. Blemish Fighting Putty Primer, I don't see any problems with it. It's this green one. I actually loved the moisturizing effect it gave to my skin. I don't have blemishes, but it did fill in the pores very nicely. Like, I don't see my pores at all. Next, the foundation. Hi everyone, this is Future Ilinka editing a version right now. So I want to give you an update on this Catrice True Skin Foundation. This is the hydrating one with the hyaluronic acid. I've put it to the test again and I tried it with a different primer. And this is a primer that I love and I know all my foundation work very good. I wanted to give it a second chance because I really heard such great things about it. And check this out, it does look hydrating on my face. I didn't add any powder, so if you have dry skin, I recommend using this with a very hydrating primer, a primer that works for you. And also maybe don't add too much powder afterwards. And as you can see, the skin looks just very glowy, very hydrating. I don't get that feeling, like I said, when I move my face. It doesn't feel tight, it doesn't feel dry. So I want to really give you an update that I'm actually, this is the second try that I'm using this foundation with a hydrating favorite primer, no powder, and I'm actually loving it. You can see how beautiful and glowy the skin looks. It doesn't feel dry. It did not settle behind my nose. It does not have any dry patches on my nose as before, and it has not settled in my fine lines or underneath my eyes. And it looks very beautiful and hydrating on the skin. So I just want to give you an update on I did change my mind on this foundation as when I first tried because that was kind of a first impression. And I used it with the e.l.f. putty primer which was the actual green one for acne prone skin. So maybe, maybe that was the problem. Maybe that e.l.f. primer is not for me. So I wanted to give you an update and tell you that I'm actually loving this foundation. Now, obviously the Physicians Formula Bronzer, it's a beautiful, very natural looking bronzer. I love this one, I recommend this one. Now, the Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter, this is a beautiful highlighter at such an affordable price. Definitely recommend this one. I love this Catrice Highlighter, and this is in the shade 020. So, loving the highlighter, very natural look, not a white cast at all beautiful product the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder I rarely use powders but sometimes I use it in the t-zone to kind of set the foundation and set this area to last longer so this is such a beautiful soft powder this never dries me up I've used it with other foundations and my skin doesn't feel dry and I know it's not this one because I've had this for quite some time, so I'm loving this one. The obviously e.l.f. 
Hydrating Camel Concealer. This is in the shade Fair Worm. This is a beautiful product. It is hydrating. As you can see, even with the foundation, I've added this here and it has not um, caked up or it has not settled into the fine lines. So I'm loving that one. The e.l.f. blush. This is such a beautiful blush. I know we've kind of powdered over it, but I love this shade. I think it's the Bahamas shade. I'll make sure to link everything down below for you guys. But this is the peachy one. I definitely recommend the pink one as well. It's a beautiful pink. I can show you guys. Let's apply it. I'm going to apply it with my beauty blender and show you how beautiful this pink one looks as well. You see that? Do you see what I'm talking about? It is not very, like, not a very intense pink on your face. It is just very beautiful and it gives you that nice flushed cheek look. So I'm definitely loving this one as well. And I'm not a big fan of pink blushes, but this one, very good. Now, of course, the e.l.f. setting spray, this has a very nice spot you can burn type of smell. I love this on my face. It does give me, with all my other foundation, a nice glowy look. Not oily, not greasy, but a nice, beautiful, glow, healthy look. Ooh, the mascara. This is probably one of my favorite things. This definitely works, like, deserves to go viral. I love my lashes. I It's right on the same page, number one, with my Essence princess mascara so definitely recommend this one let's talk about another positive things thing before we go to another negative one the lipstick and lip gloss this lip gloss it's very hydrating i have them in two other shades and i love them on my lips beautiful beautiful formula it's not sticky it's not heavy it doesn't create that stickiness between your lips and this Essence Glimmer Glow Lipstick, it's a perfect lipstick for beginners. If you, if it's hard for you to draw a line around your lips and apply lipstick, this adjusts to your lip color and changes by itself without causing that type of bleeding around your lip. So I'm loving these two products. <sighs> I'm sorry Essence, but this palette, not my favorite. I have the other three ones the purple green and the taupe one this is not my favorite this the shades they look nice they look okay but it looks like any other palette that i have in the shades they're beautiful there's a lot of kick up in the pan you can see um i don't know it looks very it looks very nice it looks nice on the eye but it's definitely not beginner friendly so let me tell you this is not beginner friendly because it's a little bit harder to blend um, and it has a lot of fallout so make sure you do your eyes if you have this palette before you do your complexion so this is not my favorite the others are they're more soft they blend they it, the, the shades let you build them up it's not like you put you just barely touch this and a big clump of um, shade goes on your eyelids so then you have to spend a lot of time blending so this is definitely not my favorite out of them so anyways i would love to hear what was your favorite product in today's video which is tiktok made me buy all this viral products my favorite is the mascara for sure a lot oh and the blushes are definitely my favorites now my least favorite is the bronzed this way palette that one i hope you enjoyed this video would love to hear your thoughts down below please comment and talk to me down in the comments below would love to talk to you so if you enjoyed this video and this channel i would love for you to subscribe you mean so much to me and i guess i will see you in my next one love you guys bye